Hello and welcome to our special 2014 auction show. We actually call this auction show <laughs> round one. This is the first of two parts. We're going to bring you into our auction world. I'll give you a little picture of what it looks like here at the TV station these days. You know, right here at TV 44, we are counting down the days and doing so by walking around <laughs> and over and sometimes pushing things aside just to get where we need to be as the auction season is in full swing. And for the next 30 minutes, You'll get a sneak peek of the items that will be up for bid on September the 6th. Certainly hope you'll join us for this year's annual auction. Now before we get to the items, let's take a look at the schedule for the day. We don't want you to miss any of the important bidding portions of the day, which will begin at 9 a.m., which means to register. We suggest you arrive around 8.30. Might even have some coffee and donuts to help get you going. Bidding starts at 9, sports items at 10, the outer ring around the same time. Getaway trips at noon. Mark, that's always a highlight of the day. Certainly is. More general auction items after the trips. And then after that, another biggie every year, the automobile auction at 2 p.m. Whether you're planning to come and bid or just join us to be part of the event, it's always a great day at the TV44 auction. And let's go ahead and get into some of those great auction items. Remember, this is just a sneak peek of everything that will be available on September 6th. To see the full catalog, visit WTLW.com. You can also view pictures. We're adding brand new ones every day. All right, Mark, let's get started with some items. Yeah, let's take a look at some of the great furniture items that will be up for bid on September the 6th as the Ottoville Hardware and Furniture has donated, provided a table with two leaves and four chairs perfect for your dining room area. We're actually sitting in those chairs right now. They're very comfortable. Yes, they are. Also provided by Ottoville, Ottoville Hardware and Furniture, a lighted cabinet hutch. It does come in two pieces, so it's easy to travel. It's lighted, it's mirrored, very pretty, and does look quite nice with that table. Now, if the hardwood isn't quite your thing, you want something a little more comfortable, well, we've got you covered with a reclining sofa with Two recliners, both ends recline on that, again, provided by the Ottaville Hardware and Furniture Company. Andy and Zach had a good time making that thing we recline might have to pry a few them weeks off ago. Of that. <laughs> also from Ottaville Hardware and Furniture, of which we're really thankful for their support. Two side chairs, they will be auctioned separately. Uh, they look obviously very different, but they're both a greenish color, and one of them swivels, uh, the one on the right swivels. Perhaps you're looking for maybe a little artwork for your walls. Well, we've got some framed prints, again, provided by the Audeville Hardware and Furniture. Look great in perhaps the living room, maybe the dining room to set things off. Coming to us from Fine Touch Furniture and Upholstery in Ada, some incredible people who run that. And look at this beautiful Hoosier bench, Amish style wood bench, 48 inches long. You've heard me say it on TV before, it looked perfect in my foyer. <laughs> Yeah, you, you might be able to pry that away from Jennifer. You might have to outbid the Beck family on that one. <laughs> Donated anonymously, drop leaf table with a pair of chairs. Some, some more great, maybe even a kitchen or a nook uh, dining room area type would be perfect for that table. Nice and small, perfect for apartments, but yet you can open it up and easily fit four people around that very comfortably. A few items from Ernie Hollenbacher. Every year he donates some incredible woodworking items, and this is the first one to show you a handmade desk, 31 inches wide, with a few drawers. Um, small enough for a corner area or a small area, but big enough for all those bills you have to pay. Yeah, Ernie does a fantastic job, just a, a great craftsman. Also has donated a 27 inch stool, so a wide stool, chance uh, for maybe use that uh, almost as, you can almost use that as a, a, a coffee book. That's table. true, yeah, very beautiful. Everything that he donates is so beautiful. You know, he uses his talents for the Lord. That's definitely for sure. In fact, when he sells these items, he donates them to us, but when he sells them, he takes the proceeds and uses those for mission trips, Absolutely. which is really neat. Five-tier corner shelf. Now, I understand you kind of like this one. Yeah, I've got my eye on this one. I'm always in search of more bookshelves. And uh, again, Ernie Hollenbacher just doing a fantastic job for the corner bookshelf and also donated an entryway coat rack and a handmade item from Ernie Hollenbacher. Perfect item right by the door. You, see, you know, just a wonderful piece of furniture that uh, Ernie has generously donated to the, us. The bench seat opens, nice place to hide your mittens and hats. Uh, beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Another beautiful, and this one an antique item, is a game table. I tell you what, you don't see things like this brand new anymore. Absolutely not. And the final item we want to highlight in this segment is actually the table we're using right <laughs> now, an inlaid oak table. It also comes with a pair of leaves, so 
You can have it for just four, expand it out, probably have eight or ten at the table. Beautiful table. It really is beautiful, and it's hard to see this inlaid wood on television. This is some hype of item. You want to come out on September 6th, even maybe later in the day, September 5th, and take a look at this because um, brand new. I was told what the cost of this was brand new. It was quite <laughs> pricey. It's a blessing that we were given this, and it's going to be a blessing in someone's home. Very, very beautiful piece. Well, in fact, there are two furniture items that are very unique. In fact, right now, we're considering each one of them one of a kind. Andy has some special helpers to tell us about those items. Andy? Well, thanks, guys. I don't know about special guests, but I have, maybe they meant the chickens. We got the chickens here. And who's back here? It's Nathan and Anna riding their horses. Would this be a cool place to sleep? Check out this bed. You guys can come on out. Comes with the horse. I know you want the bed, but we also have this great piece right here. Nathan and Anna, you want to come drive the tractor? We have Sharon Oman, who donated both of these pieces, handcrafted. Uh, there's lots of space, so you can change the bed as an adult, go through the windows here. This tractor is awesome. Nathan's going to drive. Where are we headed, buddy? Arby's. Arby's. OK, we're going to get something to eat. Need some chicken wings, he said. The lights, this light works. This light, we are going to replace the bulb, perhaps. We've got Anna on the horse. Where are you going, Anna? She's going, all right, she's galloping. You got storage space here in this portion. The wheel, you got the mirrors. And in the back, there is some bookcase space. You want to put your friend in here? Maybe he's going to go to sleep. This is his bed, right? All right, we'll tell him good night. But two great items that will be up for bids at TV44 auction coming up September the 6th. My kids don't come with it, but they might be around it that morning. Well, we'll let Andy play in the barn for a while while, while Mark plays with his dolls over here. They're not dolls, they're action figures. They're actually, they're collector items. What, what do you have right there? Uh, I believe this is a, a, a vintage 1964 G.I. Joe doll. You can see this is, I, I believe, the, the navy one that comes with the life jacket. Also has the, the air vest. So plenty of accessories to go with these G.I. Joe do, uh, action figures. Action figures, they're not dolls, they're action <laughs> figures. Just one of the few of the, the unique items that we have in this year's auction. We have some incredibly unique items, some very valuable items, and we're going to quickly take a look at some of those right now. We're starting with some outdoor decorations, though, provided by the Hollow Log. Two items, let me tell you what, these are very heavy. They yes, will they not are. move when you put them in your garden. Yeah, you see two of them there. We have two more outdoor decorations from the Hollow Log, a, a military theme and an angel theme as well. So. Items to, to spruce out the outdoor. Some Roseville pottery coming to us from an estate uh, that we were blessed to receive. The items on here, to be honest with you, have quite high value. And if you know anything about our auction, this is an opportunity to get some very nice items at probably a pretty good price. Uh, remember, every dollar you spend goes into our ministry. But yeah, this what I'm holding right here, I think has a value of about $150. Even Babe Ruth is pointing at it. It's so good. <laughs> Babe knows. He needs Speaking to have of this. pottery, we've got some Kettle Springs Kilns plates up for auction on September 6th as well. Beautiful design there, perfect for a country kitchen. Allen County Focus from, I believe, the Bicentennial. They are located over my left shoulder here on our set. Mr. Peanuts Collection. Oh, do we have a lot of Mr. Peanuts stuff. I have never seen. Well, we can't really call it a bobblehead. It's, it's a bobble it's body. It's a bobble body. And if you ever wanted salt and pepper shakers that were Mr. Peanuts, we've got those. Little grinders. It is all here. Yeah, th these are just a few of the planters collection, if you will, that will be available for auction on September the 6th. We also have some beautiful African wood carvings. You see these on the set right now, some close-up pictures, some bookcase or book uh, ends with those and uh, a whale design, a bird design, really just some exquisite wood carving. From what I understand is these are items that can no longer be exported out of Africa. So these are certainly very rare for this part, you know, for, for this country. You cannot get these anymore. Um, I still like this whale. A few mm -hmm. weeks ago, oh, I'm sorry, I just knocked over your action figure. Not so cool, thumbs down. <laughs> well, if you want to travel to Africa, um, you possibly could do so with the rolling carry-on luggage that has been donated by Circle of Life Scrubs. We are thankful for that donation. We also have for auction on September the 6th, coffee brewer and cups, those, those popular K-cups. We've got an entire system ready for you coming up on September the 6th. 
And we also have got some very valuable, now they, they call these dolls, I'll, I'll, I wanna say they're action figures, but some historical figures, they're F&B dolls. We've got these out on the set, just exquisite detail. You see the mm. Harry Truman and the George Washington right now. Truman with the glasses, Washington in the Colonial Revolutionary War garb. Very, very precise, and then Lincoln, Eisenhower, Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, of course, calling his shot to a, a 1932 <laughs> World Series. Series. That's what what that is is uh, trying to, and it comes with the bat. There we go. That's right. We mentioned the GI Joe dolls. Those are from 1964. There are two of them, and they do come with all of the accessories. We've only shown just a few items. Um, all of these things are in really, really great shape. In fact, not only do we have the GI Joe dolls, but we also have this Ilya, you're gonna have to help me out, the man, man from, from Uncle. Uncle TV action figure in the box. When we looked at the value of this, um, let me tell you, there's not a lot of these out there. <laughs> so we still have the box, we still have the action figure, tell all of your collectible friends yeah. that you definitely want to come to this auction this year. And speaking of collectible dolls, yeah, we've got a we, few we of the ones that are really dolls. dolls. Uh, we've got Whitney on set with us right now. That is just one of several collectible dolls that will be up for bid on September the 6th. If, if, if you're into that type of thing, they are beautiful dolls, uh, much like the F&B uh, dolls, very exquisitely precise, very gorgeous. But like most I know men, a nine-year-old kind of blonde girl who's probably going to be trying to bid against you. Please bid up, bid up. We already have a lot of those in our house. Don't and tell her I said that. Really, all this is just the start. Lots of history at this year's auction, including some butter churns, some spinning wheels. Zach is with our sports report director, Hannah Beck, who also happens to know quite a bit about historic items. They're going to walk us through some of the most unique auction item donations we've gotten so far this year. Well, we've taken a trip back in time. I'm not entirely sure how many years, but yes, here with me now is our own Hannah Beck, and she's the expert on these things. I'm really not sure what our variety of historical donations do. I do know that this is what you're supposed to do with this thing, and it's so I've been turn. practicing. But Hannah's here to guide us through exactly what some of these things are. Thanks for ha coming on, Hannah. Well, thanks for having me. So let's start with this one right here. Okay, well, this is about as early as a butter churn as you can get. Uh, you basically just pour your milk in, lift the lid, pour your milk in, and you're ready to go. I'm going to pull this out here just so you can see. Just a little, little uh, nicely made piece of wood here. I suppose this is what's turning the butter? Yeah. It, it's kind of like, it's got kind of the same concept as if you're going to shake butter in a glass jar. Except the only thing is it's all contained in this nice little bucket. Ah, I see. Yeah, so this was, this is one of the early models. And this could date way back. I mean, they used butter churns late 1700s still, so. So do we have newer models? Is that what you're telling me of butter churns here? They can step out of the way back here. Back here, we've got a butter churn that has a crank on it and you actually pull off the top. See oh, if we can move. Okay, this does look a little more sophisticated. We've got some gears going on in there. Now I do want to throw out our cameraman, Chase Getz actually tells me there is very little margarine for error in butter turning. Get it? Margarine? So, good job, Chase. It's very true. They can make margarine in here, but they definitely could make butter. This one is definitely a couple years later I'll than our first I'll tilt this forward one. so you can see a little more sophisticated going on there. That looks like it's going to turn some butter a little bit more efficiently, maybe right. higher velocity. This is probably early 1900s, kind of once they got things on a roll and the okay. industry started to advance. And this is even a little bit more advanced than what we see down here, which is just really a oh, little so you get down. wheel inside of a This would be uncomfortable because you got to squat down. That's maybe, why they had lots of kids. Maybe you could sit on, a, sit on your lap. You can see in here, this is great butter turning action <laughs> here. Yes, yeah, so it definitely wasn't a quick process. Okay, well, we have a variety of butter turners, but let's move on to some of these other items over here. I, I see this spinning wheel. You were eyeing it earlier, and you actually have one of your own, don't you? I do, and the spinning wheel is kind of a fun thing because these are dying out, especially the old antique models. They're really hard to find, hmm. and it, it's, it's kind of, they're really neat to look at, to think that um, you'd have a spindle here and just the... The spinning makes thread out of wool. Okay. And this was very important back in early days. Uh, an antique collector would probably love to get this in their collection because they they are hard to find. You've got this one, but we also oh have yes, this the one. large one. And 
just to remind you, these are all available at the auction on September 6th. We encourage you, if you're interested in antiques or maybe you want to turn some butter, you can come on out and bid on these. We do have a variety. So tell me about the large one. It's, it's huge. This one is huge. I think I want to bid on it because <laughs> it, it, this is like the ultimate make thread. It, it does the most. Is this most like making shirts for giants or what do you, what do you do with this one here? Well, it does the same process as the little one, but the only difference is the little one, you're, you're sitting. This one, they actually had a kind of a foot pattern where they would, the, the women would walk. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, I think the estimation is about 10 miles a day for the women who would do this. So you're walking to turn the, right. the wheel. Right, and it's a, it's, a, it's a turning. So there's no foot pedal. There's no, um, no, it's not compact. I mean, you need space for this gotcha. thing. Gotcha. All right, well, the last thing I do want to point out here, we're running a little short here, but we have a beautiful sewing machine that was just donated, and you're impressed with this because it has all the original um, items with it. Is that right? Yeah, this one, this one is really exciting because we not only have all of our original pieces that you need for your foot pedal, but there's also the old manual in there, oh, wow. which dates back to 1915. So this okay. is definitely um, a great piece to add to a collection. It still works, so it'd be a great thing to use as a beginner sewing machine if you're kind of getting started. Okay, well, again, all of these are available at the auction. We thank you, Hannah, for coming in and giving us a little brief uh, description on what these do, because I know that we have not entirely known. But hey, we're going to turn it back over to Jennifer and Mark, and they've got more uh, on the way from this year's 2014 auction. I'm going to put... Uh, What's the, in the picnic basket? Well, I'm going to put the butter that's been churned, <laughs> and I'm going to put the, the wool that's been spun. Maybe yeah. not together. Yeah, <laughs> that might make a big mess. <laughs> you know, we, we just saw some of the historic items that will be up for auction. Some more here on the set, some great lamps. We've also have got uh, many sports prints that are probably be perfect for your man cave. You see the Ohio State one here right now. There's also some other ones that we'll be highlighting in next week's show and we we'll do more about some of these sports items we have up for bid. Now don't forget you can find pictures of many of these items on our website WTLW.com and we're still collecting items so check every single day. Particularly we're interested in more quality furniture, automobiles, tools. You can bring your items right here to the TV station Monday through Friday 10 to 3. If that time doesn't work for you Give us a call. We'll work to make other arrangements. Additionally, we still have time for trip sponsors, a great opportunity for local businesses. Actually, Mark, speaking of trip sponsors, we've had a couple more just this past week, so some new trips to announce soon. In the end, you just simply need to come out to the auction September 6th under the big tent. And speaking of outside, right now, Ben Reif and Matt Finkel are taking a look at some of the outdoor items that will also be on the auction block. Thank you, Mark and Jennifer. Matt and I are out here in the gorgeous sunshine. We've got our hats. It's a beautiful day. We asked for iced tea and they said, absolutely not. You'll get it on the furniture. So we're just gonna sit in the furniture. Pretty comfortable, isn't it, Matt? Oh, absolutely. We should be blessed with this nice of a day on September 6th. I am sitting in some outdoor furniture donated by Max and Pam Meek. And let me tell you, it's very comfortable. We got a nice rocking feature. Ben was saying he can go right to sleep on it out yep, here. Yep, it's, it's very relaxing. This is what I like to do every day during work. Actually not, but <laughs> we've got several more items and we'll display those to you. These will all be available September 6th at our auction. First, the Holland Grill. This is a, an amazing grill, propane, even comes with a grill cover and a seasoning pack. Carolina seasoning. I'd love to have this, an excellent item. Matt, this looks like a Fabergé egg. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's another grill for you here and we can grill with the charcoal instead of the gas and a Holland Grill will be grilling up some burgers for you on September 6th on a Holland Grill. Not these two, but you can come out, have some burgers with us, and then bid on a grill to make some of your own. We know you've seen the commercials. You've always wondered if you really can taste the difference. You'll have the opportunity to do that from our food tent. This is a beautiful, beautiful, brand new air compressor with all sorts of attachments and accessories that came with it and a handmade cart. The gentleman that donated this Thought it needed a little something to carry everything in, so he handmade this cart. It's gorgeous. I will be bidding on this, so come prepared to, ben to has fight expressed me for a it. lot of interest <laughs> in this item, so make sure you're ready to go up against Ben in the bid war for that one. Have you had your shower yet today, Matt? I have not. This one would hurt. <laughs> this is a jet sprayer, water jet sprayer, essentially, power washer. Not so close. <laughs> it's not loaded at the moment. 
But uh, anything that you need cleaned, this will do a phenomenal job of cleaning. Put the water in there, fire it up. It'll uh, clean off your patios, decks, even wash your car or your kids if they're messy. So, so far we've got a place for you to relax, a place for you to do some cooking, some cleaning, and now some fun. <laughs> this a bike here, this Huffy bike. Huffy Santa Fe cantilever cruiser. I will demonstrate how to ride for you. This should be good. He may not be insured for this. <laughs> Take it on. Nice, smooth ride for you. This could be you, September 6th. <laughs> And we'll end with a Dodge Grand Caravan, a 2001 Dodge Grand Caravan. What makes it so grand? Well, it's about a foot and a half of extra space in the back. Anybody that's ever stood on a suitcase and trying to get it to close, you'll appreciate the extra foot and a half. Very good, nice, sharp looking van. Uh, everything you need and uh, even has air in the tires. We'll give that to you for free. <laughs> We're expecting a couple of more cars to be auctioned off on the 6th as well. A Chevy Blazer, Mazda Miata, and Ben, do we have some? We've got a Kawasaki motorcycle and a uh, Yamaha speed bike. So uh, several more things that will be coming. Plenty and, of modes uh, of transportation available. Yeah. <laughs> there always is. You'll have to come out on the 6th to see those. Uh, they'll also be displayed out in front of the station in the days prior to the auction. I uh, really hope everybody will be here and uh, look forward to bidding against you on some of these items. We'll send it back to Mark and Jennifer. A lot of nice outdoor items. We're hoping to get some more automobiles, so watch for our next auction show. We'll show you more of those. Um, you going to be churning butter for a while now? I, I think it's going to be a new hobby of mine. You know, who you wants to buy not, butter when you can churn? It's not just a hobby; it. it's a lifestyle. It's true, and so I'm going to embark on a new lifestyle here after this of making butter. And I'll sell you guys some, and you guys can have fresh butter. Mm. It'll be great. Will be from butter. free range cows. <laughs> we're getting there. It's, it's going to be a, pr a process. So. <laughs> well, we're going to take a look at one of the most exciting parts of the auction. The entire auction is exciting, but everybody loves the trips that happen at mm -hmm. noon, and we have some great trips. The first one you've got some personal experience with. That's right. We're going to kick it right off with Mormon Valley Farms, which is um, just a, a great time. Actually, we spent a little bit of time there a few months ago, Jennifer, for your daughter's birthday party, which was a blast. A chance to ride horses, but not just the horses. They had a climbing wall. They had multiple trails for the horses, um, and they just have a variety of things to do. You can make a whole day out of it, and you can see here they have Mormon Valley has donated a mother-daughter or father-son weekend. going to be a wonderful, wonderful uh, trip for someone. Not too far away, of course, is Marmon Valley. Also not too far away is Science Central in Fort Wayne. This is another one of my kids' favorite locations. Andy, I've told you about the slide before. Three foot, or three story wow. slide. Twirls around. Um, you can kind of see it in that picture. It's that, I think it's that yellow thing. Is it a water slide? Because that would be really cool. There's a lot of colors there. I don't know. No, but you can climb in something that's supposed to be like being underground in the sewer. Oh. That Which is every fun. kid's dream. <laughs> you smell <laughs> to climb through the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> More another, family stuff, though. What else do we have? Another science center, uh, the Coast Side down in Columbus. A great family membership is up for bids, uh, and you can have your hair look That's just right. classic like that. right there. That, that was Isn't always that fun? our excitement when we, when we were younger: is to put your hands on that ball, yep. and then there you go. Your hair, your hair is just. Not that I have a lot, but... <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't work real well on any of these guys' hair. You need the long, long hair. What else do we have, Mark? More fun family trips, including down to Kentucky and the Newport Aquarium, as donated by Dr. John and Brenda Stocker. A million gallons of fun! Ooh. If you like your fish, head down to Newport Aquarium in Kentucky. I got a great ray exhibit as well. You can see all kinds of different stingrays from I once the world. pet a shark at the Newport Aquarium. Oh, really? Yeah. And you wow. still have a hand. I still have... Well, it's fake, but... <laughs> <laughs> <It's> realistic. <laughs> Thank you. Shipshawana, we have an opportunity to go there. Blue Gate Theater package uh, that includes a musical show and an overnight stay. They got some great family packages, so that would be a good one for families. And then there's Kalahari. One of my favorite places in the world. I think everyone's favorite place uh, in the world. A fantastic water park indoors. They have some outdoor things as well, but the indoor water par park full of all kinds of rides, different slides, wave pool, um, a chance to do some surfing. It's just a great time for really young and old. One of my daughters overcame her fears there. She now feels very strong and positive and can do things because she accomplished the slides at Kalahari. It's a lot of fun for the whole family. You can check that out. Also, the Fort Wayne Zoo. How about that? One of the best zoos 
that I've been to. I haven't been to a whole lot, but it's it's a really nice children's zoo. There's some great interactive things for the kids and a uh, little water area as well. You can take the, the boat ride around uh, the Australian place. My son's favorite was the kangaroos. There's tons of kangaroos <laughs> there. Five or six giraffes you can check out and really touch and feed. So really interactive. From animal watching to perhaps people watching, a shopping and dining <laughs> trip to the Easton Columbus, uh, the Easton Center down in Columbus, donated by Dr. Bob Enjoy Moon. So opportunity to get away from it and enjoy fine dining and a little shopping down in Easton. I love that place at Christmas. They light it up mm -hmm. in the streets. It's just Beautiful. so festive. Yeah. Sugar Creek Village Inn offers, it's over in Amish country, and look, you could sleep in that caboose right there. Wow. Just, I've slept there, in right cabooses hope. before. It's <laughs> It's not necessarily fun, but it's all in the spirit of the thing. I'm sure this one is exquisite and wonderful, and the experience, come on, to be able to say you've done it before. Is that as you're traveling across the country, Mark? Yes, as I was riding the rails as a hobo in a former <laughs> life. No, it was actually at a youth camp. Uh, it was in, in the winter, and one of the cabins was a caboose. We got the caboose. And well, speaking of cabins, we've yeah. got another trip, Hawking Hills, and that's going to be, that's beautiful all year round, particularly in the fall, the snow when it comes in the winter. And Jennifer, you have some experience with these cabins in Hawking Hills area. Oh, loved staying in one so secluded, only about 10 miles from from the park, so lots of opportunity to enjoy that, but yet fireplace, spiral staircase, I've heard you speak tub. of the spiral staircase before, it always gets <laughs> us excited here. She tried to slide down, it, it, it got <laughs> ugly. And there's, of course, in Hawking Hills, beautiful sights to see, but also there's canoeing if you go at the right time of year, of course, camping and, and just a variety of things if you like the outdoors. Great in the fall for the foliage. Yes. Can you do ice fishing in the winter? You could try. Also try in Hawking Hills is the Inn and Spa at Cedar Falls. We've had this one, mm. uh, you know, regularly. We have this every year because they're really great at donating, but uh, just an opportunity to be pampered and then go places like that. That's the Old That's Man's just, Cavern, I believe. Yeah, right? beautiful, absolutely love it. Now this next one, Andy, this is, I'm excited about this trip. All right, tell us about it. Dr. Wow, Herzman, look at that. Paul Ashoon gave us the Mohicans. The Mohicans, have they have cabins as well. Now, this is not in Hawking Hills. This is over by Mohican State Park, but those are tree houses wow. that you can sleep in. I, I You would. can experience sleeping in a tree house. <laughs> I do have a tree house at home that stands maybe 16 feet high, but is that nothing like that. <laughs> if you would like to come stay in, in my tree house, then we could work something out, I suppose. <laughs> maybe a tree house isn't quite your style. Maybe you're more of a bed and breakfast type of person. Well, at noon on September 6th, you'll have an opportunity to bid on the Millhouse Bread and Back bed and breakfast, donated by the Millhouse Bed and Breakfast. A great place to stay. I've heard they have really good bread, too. Is it all you can eat bread? <laughs> I don't know, Probably but not. bed and bread and <laughs> breakfast, all inclusive. Cheesecake? I went to a bed and breakfast with cheesecake. Mm. Well, that's pretty good. It was. I think you could find some <laughs> cheesecake in West Liberty, or you can find some good candy at Marie's Candies. Mm. And we also have tickets to the Ohio Caverns. Have you guys ever been to the Ohio I Caverns? I have. Stalactites and stalagmites and stalagmites. Oh <laughs> this is very cool. You, if, if you like anything related to being underground or just the, the uh, the crystals themselves are just mm. something to see. Just a natural treasure not that far from West That's Central right. Ohio. That's right. And also not far from West Central Ohio, right in Ada, Ohio Northern, the Inn at ONU. All right. And Mutt's Gone Nuts. What is this? <laughs> is this a play? These did are the, award, the dogs talk? award winning dogs. You have to go to find out. Wow. Mutt's Gone Nuts. Award winning dogs are going to perform on stage at the Freed Center, and we're very thankful to that donation from the Inn at ONU and the Freed Center. There's nothing more impressive than animals that do acts. There are a sea lot World. of things more impressive than animals doing acts, but it is You've never been to SeaWorld. <laughs> and I'm not any poor for having not visited that. Now, if, if Zach is serious about that butter churning plan, then maybe he might want to get a job at Sauter Village or just want to check out there uh, for our special trip that's going to another item. I think they have tryouts, like butter churning tryouts to see if I can make the butter churning team. You got to practice. Practice, I practice, will. practice. I will. Good news, butter. however, is the Heritage Inn is a modern facility, so you get to go back in time during the day, then you get to spend the night at their modern hotel with all of the amenities and enjoy another day at Sauter Village as well, thanks to Kay Fowler. Love Life 2014 with Joyce Meyer. We have tickets for that. Also, mm -hmm. one week stay at Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. Just a lot of things that you can bid on coming up in our auction September the 6th. Yeah, the Women's Conference provided by Joyce Meyer Ministries, Keith Wozniak, uh, donating the one-week stay at Myrtle Beach. And while we're down south, maybe you're going to stay a week at Myrtle Beach and 
On the way back, go through Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. We've got a four-night stay in Nashville, Tennessee, including the Adventure Science Center, donated by WIMA and T102. You know, funny thing, I had stayed in Myrtle Beach before. It's a beautiful place there, and then recently been through Tennessee, <laughs> Nashville specifically. So. Uh, two of my favorite locations, but these are going to be some great trips. This you is want your to take life, Zach, Zach Bowers. As the tour guide, <laughs> Please take me he'd probably happily go along. Yeah, I can point start out in the treehouse, then head to Myrtle Beach. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also have lots of tickets, thanks to mm -hmm. Nice Wonger and several other organizations. Some of those tickets include the Annie Moses Band. Oh, Your fun. favorite, Andy. I love Annie. <laughs> Inspirations of Broadway. <laughs> Her last name is not Moses, by the way. Uh, there was an Annie Moses. Out. Yes, it was. It was the grandma. And what a lineup <laughs> Nice Wonger has this Absolutely year. They recently yeah. released it, and so we are fortunate to have tickets to several of their performances. Also going to have some restaurant tickets to go along with that, so a nice mm. little package for you there. There's the Berenstein Bears. Hmm. I know two little kids with the last name Lynch who might <laughs> I like I just that. read the Berenstein Bears go to Sunday school last night. <laughs> Great All story. All right. Yep. Well, the Berenstein Bears will also go to Nice Wonger, and you can enjoy that with that your family. <laughs> Also, a family building conference that's being put on by Grace Community Church. Ted Tripp is coming, Shepherding a Child's Heart Parenting Conference. They're coupling that with uh, gift certificates to Ruby Tuesdays, so two couples have an opportunity to enjoy that. And that's just a few hmm. of the trips that we have to offer. So much good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, this past half hour has just been a tiny look at everything we have to offer. We have gotten even gotten to the sports items yet and we're expecting even more vehicles so we're calling it this auction special part one <laughs> be looking for auction special part two and again wtlw.com is your home to find updated lists and new pictures each and every day we've been told that one cake will be arriving on auction day and we're <laughs> still open to more baked items that we can sample actually or maybe not in addition to the cakes and baked items to be auctioned off, we're also looking for individuals to bake pies for our food tent. Mm. Those can be brought to the station the Friday before the auction or the morning of, of course, any homemade pies of any kind. Sugar cream, let's go blueberries, mm -hmm. I think you should make them. pie. I think you should make but them I will eat that then, and that will not do the station any good. But that is seriously a huge part of um, just the station and, and, and the, what we can offer on auction day. I know a lot of people come, but a lot of people are hungry as well. Mm -hmm. And that's an important element. Don't forget, we're going to have those hamburgers grilled on the Holland Grills as well. Mm -hmm. So plan to come, spend the day, enjoy your lunch with us. And before then, we need your items. We're still accepting donations. Bring them to the TV station Monday through Friday, 10 to 3. If you have any questions, just give us a call, 339-4444. And that will wrap it up for us on this particular half hour. Mark your schedule for September 6th. Bring us your items before then. We look forward to spending 2014 auction with you Fruit under the big was. tent coming up. I was too busy looking at the spinning.